maybe you're giving yourself too much pressure. Maybe you're trying to integrate all of your various passions and interests into one understandable niche and statement about who you are. How is that possible? You are, you have such a huge uh, base foundation of life experience that encompasses so many things. And you are also, your potential is infinitely wide. How do you expect to integrate all of that into one niche, one brand, one intro statement, or one about page even? Maybe you should just let that go. Maybe it doesn't matter. What if, let me give you another vision, which I think is true, and I've, I've noticed this in other businesses. What if people don't need you to integrate everything into one? What if whatever you want to sell, whatever is interesting to you, you know, you sell it to the audience for whom that has, is, is an interest, that for whom that is a need. You sell whatever thing you want to sell today to the people that have that need and interest. And if they like you, they will seriously consider it. Now, here's the thing. You say, well, George, but then isn't that too variety of things that audience doesn't trust me anymore? Hold on, hold on. If you are being true to yourself, you have a wide variety of interests. And by the way, so does your audience. And isn't your most true fan most similar to you? Yes. Your truest fans are the people who really get you who really understand the breadth of interests that you have. And many of the interests that you have probably interest them too. So why are you holding yourself back saying, I have to be known for this one thing? You're giving yourself too much pressure. It's, it's not how marketing works. Marketing, here's how marketing works, right? Somebody sees, for example, a Facebook ad, and the Facebook ad is selling them something that they've been thinking about, that they want. If they trust, if they like that brand, if they like that person or that company, they'll say, oh, well, let me go check it out. And by checking it out, what you need to do, you don't need to try to figure out your perfect intro statement and way of explaining all of your integration. What you need to do is you need to optimize the description of each thing that you sell. You can sell 25 different things. Just have 25 different web pages on your website. Your website can be selling everything under the sun that is of genuine interest to you. And if because it, if you have a, if there's a genuine interest that you have in all these things, there you can't even help it. There will be a natural integration of it. You don't even on your homepage. All you need to say is, "This is my name, and I have many interests." If you're interested in this category of things, go here. If you're interested in this category, go here. If you're just interested in that category, go here. You can have as many categories as you want. But if you have 25 different interests, they probably generally group into various categories. Let's say five categories. I have all five categories. I have all seven categories. It's okay. Because the thing is, don't send people to your website. Don't send people to your homepage. You can just in your email signature, you could say, yeah, this is a broad intersection of who I am but you will be sending people interested in specific things to specific pages on your website. Relax. Don't try to integrate. Don't try to weave together. You're giving yourself unnecessary pressure that doesn't actually matter for your income. How does your income happen? Here's how your income happens. Like I said, someone sees a Facebook post or ad selling them the thing that they've been thinking about. They happen to like you, so they'll look at it. They'll go, oh, I didn't know, you know, Kim does that. Well, let me go check it out because I like her. Oh, I didn't know George offers this kind of thing. Well, let me go check it out because I like him. Oh, okay. And on that description page of what you sell, you can, of course, say, well, this is for this kind of person. This is the kind of thing that this offer helps with, this online course or this coaching service helps this kind of person with this kind of thing. And this is my life experience. This, part, this is the part of my life experience or training or whatever, or my studies, where that makes me qualified for this particular offer. Now, I, of course, have life experiences in many different areas, and so do you. You don't have to tell all your entire life experience on every single sales page. No, you only talk about that part of your life that's relevant to that product or that service. 
I look, please let me know in the comments below if I'm making sense to you, if this makes sense. Does this give you relief? I hope it does. Because you, uh, yes, you may want to work on your niche. Yes, you may want to work on your intro statement, but let it be something that you work on over time. You don't have to stress yourself out that you have to figure it out before you launch your next service or your next online course or your next product or your next coaching package. You don't have, don't gradually work on that. That's fine. It will bring you, pr having an integrated intro statement or a niche may bring, may bring you pride. It may bring you confidence. Those are all helpful. Those are all valuable. But in the marketing and in, in making money, it doesn't actually make that much of a difference, honestly. Because if you were to ask me, George, what's your niche? What's your interest statement? I'm like, I don't really know, to be honest with you. Next month, guess what? I'm going to be selling. I'm going to be selling you a course on how to write your will. George, really? Yes. Because I have looked at this stuff for a while and probably looked at it longer than most of you have. And if you like me, you'll probably look at it and go, well, I like George, so, and I need to work on my will, so maybe I'll take the class. We'll see what happens. But do you see what I mean? Like, or let me give you another example. Um, when I write about spiritual things, I'm not, you know, that's just one of my many interests. And because you like me, you're like, oh, I'll read George's spiritual things, even though that's, that's not about business or marketing. Yeah, and I'm, my spiritual writings get a lot of traction too. So it, it doesn't relax. Work on your niche, work on your integration of all of your various interests, just gradually. Let it be a lifetime project because guess what? It is a lifetime project because once you come up with your niche or your intro statement, you, you evolve again and you're like, oh, now I have to. So what do you, can you keep delaying? You're going to keep delaying making money? And when I say making money, you know me, okay? You know my, my values. It's not about making money. It's about making sure that you have a livelihood. It's about making sure that you have a true livelihood, one that you feel so fulfilled by, one that really truly serves others. And you have various things that can truly serve others. You have various things that you're good at or yet you've thought about more than other people have. So why don't you offer all of them? Now, probably not all at once, but this month you'll offer this. Next month you'll offer something completely different. It's okay. As long as you're being authentic, people will sense that. And if they like you, and by the way, you know how they like you? They like you because you post authentic content. You can talk about anything from puppies to, you know, um, astrology to uh, f f flowers. <laughs> I mean, whatever. I'm just looking at random things. I have a picture of my dog here and flowers here, <laughs> right? You can talk about everything. But if, if it's authentic to you, people will sense that and people, people will, your true fans, your ideal audience probably likes all three things also. And they're like, oh, how cool that this person likes these different things. And if your true fans don't have to like everything you like. So for, for, I, I'll give you an example. Uh, some, somebody I follow, you, you probably have heard of him, Gary Vaynerchuk. Okay, Gary Vaynerchuk has so many interests. He likes baseball cards, which I have no interest in. He likes wines, which I don't drink. But he also likes business. He also likes motivation. Uh, he also likes to talk about happiness. He likes to talk about empathy. He likes to talk about parenting, which I don't have kids, so I you know, don't, you know, he likes to talk about um, family run businesses, which I don't have one. So he, he, I probably align with him on a third of his interests, but the, the third of his interests that I align with, I really like what he says. And guess what? He also likes sports and hip hop, none of which I'm interested in, but there are people who follow him because he talks about sports or he talks about hip hop. So you see what I mean? Like, like it's okay to have all these different interests. And I'm sure some people that, that follow him, probably a lot of people, probably like all of those things, right? Or eight of the 10 of those things. It's okay. I still buy stuff from Gary V and wine drinkers buy wine from him, even though I've never bought any wine in my life. So I would never buy his, you know, see what I mean? Like, it doesn't matter. You can be all of that. You can be all of that. People just know you for your authentic presence, your, your presence your voice, your, 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 the way you talk, the way you write, the way you show up, the, 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 the energy signature. I've said this before. They, they resonate with you based on your energy signature. You can have as many interests as you want. Just launch one thing at a time. And if they have a need for that thing that you're launching, they will consider it. They will buy it. They might even spread the word. Okay. Now you're going to say, well, but George, isn't there more power 
if you're focused in your content on just one niche? Of course there is, of course. But you're also trading that power, so-called, you're trading it for your flexibility and your freedom. It's a trade-off. And I'm just telling you that you don't need that power. You don't need to impress everybody with one niche. You don't. You can impress 10 different types of people with 10 different niches on one website, on one Facebook page, on one YouTube channel, on one podcast, on one Instagram profile, on one newsletter. It doesn't matter. Let it go. Choose freedom. Choose flexibility. And choose smart launches. Okay, so I'm about to teach a class on how to optimize your offer and you can have 25 different offers on 25 different niches, but each offer should be optimized. It should be describing the type of person who can most benefit, why you are qualified for that particular offer, because you have one part of your life where you've studied that a lot. You, you should talk about what that offer does for them and other things like that. I mean, that's, that's what I teach in depth in that course for, you know, two and a half hours and resource document, 28 pages and everything. But what I'm saying is don't, feel like you have to optimize your website, your homepage, your about page, choose freedom, choose flexibility. You will be glad that you did. And then you have smart launches, specific offers for specific audiences. It doesn't have to meet, you, meet everybody in your audience. Some of you, like I said, Gary Vee will sell his wines or will sell his, um, another thing he's interested in, he'll sell his sneak, he has sneaker line. I don't care about sneakers. I have like the crappiest shoes. But he sells his sneaker lines. I never bought. But I buy his business type things, right? See, so just relax. It's okay. You can have 100 fans and 10 of those, you know, 10 of those fans have interest in, in one thing of yours and another 10 has interest in another thing. And as you keep growing, people like you. They follow you because of your energy, because of your presence, how you write, how you speak, how you show up authentically, what your life is about. The values that you have. The values, by the way, are underpinning all of that, right? And your audience, no matter if they're not interested in three of those 10 things or eight of the 10 things, they're interested in two of the 10 things, they still share your values and they really appreciate your authenticity. I hope this is helpful. And I'm going to go ahead and check to see if there are any comments on the Facebook Live. Go ahead and comment below. I'm going to just be quiet while I let you do that and give me a chance to check on the live comments as well. Yeah. Thank you, Sabine and Tucker, Sandy, for your um, participation, and uh, also uh, Carmel and Isabel and Caroline, Anita, Carissa. Yeah. So you will evolve. You keep evolving, and and not just evolving into new things. You'll keep discovering things that you used to be interested in and now you're interested in again. I mean, you are a multifaceted being that cannot be contained in a few sentences and not even on an about page that's super long. You can have as long as you want. You can't be contained. You are ever growing, ever shining, but you just, to make money, you just need to sell specific things that specific people want. That's all. I hope this is helpful. I hope this gives you a different vision of business, authentic business, that allows you to have the freedom that you really yearn for. I understand that. All right. I wish you well. My name is George Cow, and I hope to see you in the next video. Take care.